Hey guys, it's Em. Today is the third installment of our new series, Creature Feature, where I look at a different species every single week and tell you a couple of facts which you may or may not have known about them. Today's creature is a really charming little dude, and I'm hoping that you'll find him totally awesome. <laughs> Also, just really quickly, I want to show you this new necklace which I've got from the Birch Please Studio. This is an axolotl that I'm wearing today, which is a kind of aquatic amphibian. Um, they are one of my favourite animals. If you don't know about axolotls, I'll try and feature them at some point. But I just thought that given the animal we're going to look at today, it was a rather fitting one to wear. If you are interested in Fran's shop, I will leave her details in the description box below. And if you're watching this, Fran, then hi. Ta-da! This here is my buddy, and his name is Prince Charming. The species I have here today, who is running away right now, is the cane toad. The cane toad from South America. If you could just figure out where you're happiest, then that'd be great. Toad butt in my face. Prince Charming is an amphibian. Amphibians are cold-blooded creatures which can live in the water and come out onto the land. Amphibians usually begin life in a water-dwelling larval state such as a tadpole, which uses its gills to breathe underwater. As the tadpoles grow, change and metamorphosize, they usually lose their gills and their ability to be fully aquatic. There are a few exceptions, such as the axolotl, but that's a whole other creature feature. Cane toads can live between 10 and 12 years. In their natural habitat in South America, that would be substantially less because they do get predated on in their natural habitat. Food-wise, cane toads can eat almost anything, and this becomes a bit of a problem later on when I tell you a bit more about what they're most famous for. Toads do have a kind of warty skin, and it's a common misconception that if you hold a toad, you're gonna catch warts. That's just not the case. Don't listen to that. That's a myth. Let's bust it. Busted. The skin's so fun to play with. I know that he doesn't appreciate it, but I'm just like, I must feel you. Denied. In the wild, cane toads can eat almost anything. If it fits in their mouth, they're gonna eat it. Their favorite foods in their native South America are beetles, other invertebrates, spiders, fish, the occasional small bird, and also each other. Yes, they are cannibals. These guys are also known as marine toads, but more typically they're known as cane toads, and I'll tell you why they're known as cane toads right now. In the 1930s in Australia, so all the way the other side of the world, the Australian government were having really big issues with cane beetles eating up their sugar crops. So the government had to think of a way that they could preserve their crops but get rid of the beetles. And the government thought to themselves, hang on a second, light bulb moment, how about bringing in a natural predator who'll eat them up and that way we won't have to spray our crops. So in 1935, the Australian government actually decided to buy a whole load of cane toads. They bought a hundred cane toads from South America. Unfortunately, the Australian government didn't test out their theory. They had planned that the cane toads would eat the cane beetles. This just wasn't the case. Cane toads are very, very lazy. They're very heavy bodied and they can't really climb. Whereas cane beetles are very fast, very agile, and they can climb very, very well. So oftentimes, whenever a cane toad would encounter a cane beetle, the cane beetle would just scurry off up into the crop while the cane toad was basically on the floor, thinking, oh, I got a grumbling belly, what am I gonna eat instead? Well, unfortunately for the native wildlife, cane toads loved the taste of the native wildlife. And most unfortunately of all, is that these guys are actually poisonous. There is poison inside these pouches. In fact, do you see these little black dots here which look like pores? Well, you'd be absolutely right. If I were to massage those rather hard, a big pussy looking liquid would come out of them just like if you were squeezing whiteheads. So imagine you're some of the native Australian wildlife. You see this toad and you think, this looks like a tasty, tasty meal, I'm going to eat it. The second that you bite down on the toad and start chewing, it's going to start emitting this poison. And this poison is so toxic that it can kill almost anything. It will kill the snakes, it could kill a large mammal like a dingo, it can even kill a fully grown salt water crocodile. And you know it's not just the adults who are poisonous, the tadpoles are poisonous and the eggs are poisonous too. Some of you out there might be thinking, hang on a second, how come the cane toad is so poisonous to Australian wildlife but they get eaten by animals in their native land of South America? 
Well, that is a great question. The answer lies in coevolution. The animals in South America had thousands, if not millions, of years to develop some level of immunity to the cane toad's poison. When the cane toads were brought to Australia, the native wildlife in Australia was taken by surprise, and they haven't had time to develop immunity. Despite Australia's best efforts, it's so hard to contain these guys. And where Australia started off with only a hundred cane toads, they now have well over twenty. Million. Cane toads are not just invasive in Australia. There's also a huge population of cane toads in Florida. Some speculate that they are the result of escaped or released pets. Others think a more likely option was the amount of cane toads released during the filming of the 1972 cult horror film Frogs, which is an amazing film, by the way. You should totally go watch it. The footage you see here was taken by my friend and fellow reptile enthusiast Jennifer Beth Lewis, who lives in Florida. Here you can clearly see three wild cane toads raiding her dog's food bowl. Remember, never release pet animals into the wild, especially if they're not native. Let me know in the comments box down below if you learned something new today. I hope you did. I hope you found something interesting, even if you weren't a big fan of toads in general. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in another video shortly. Bye. You're gonna wave. Let's wave. Wave. Wave your back feet. Bye. <laughs>